Well, this is New York Harbor. It's kind of a crazy place for a boater to be because, gosh, it's really busy. There are so many Staten Island ferries going back and forth and sightseeing boats who want to take a look at the Statue of Liberty. And everybody wants to see the Manhattan skyline. And there's all kinds of other boats and barges and half the ships in here are anchored. We have an amazing tool called the Automatic Identification System, which tells you where ships are. And uh, at sea, it's amazing, because it tells you the name of the ship and everything about them. But boy, in New York, it's kind of busy, but it still helps you by telling you what ship's coming and uh, whether they're going to be a danger to you. I'm just going to put it in autopilot and take a look at that display. OK, that's a target, a dangerous target. So in other words, this ship is calculated to come close to where we are within the next little while. So I can just take a look at that. Closest point of approach, we're going to come only 300 feet away from it in two minutes. So we've got to be pretty careful. It's going 13 knots, the Guy V. Molinari, 340 foot long passenger ship. So let's take a look. This ship turns out to be another Staten Island ferry. The Raymarine AIS receiver is a unit that uses your VHF radio antenna and splits out the coded information sent by surrounding ships. Ships are plotted on the plotter with all their information, so you can call them if you think a danger exists. Because the position of the ships are being transmitted from the ships themselves, the system is extremely accurate. It's a worldwide system, and we feel much safer at sea knowing the position of ships appears on our plotter so we can safely avoid them. Come aboard for the entire voyage, collect the whole Distant Shores series on DVD, and plan your own escape.